Solve for positive integers a and b such that a squared plus b squared plus 4b equals 96. Very good. Now, a squared b squared, and here appears a wild 4 times b. What's that? Of course, it is useful. Very useful. Now, I can give you a hint. b squared plus 4 times b is a part of a perfect square. Because now, if we add 4 on the both sides, Why plus 4? Why have you added a 4 on the both sides? Not 3, not 2, not, not 100. Maybe I'm going to say, because 96 plus 4 is 100, is 10 squared. No, that's not the real reason. The real reason is here. b squared plus 4b plus 4. This guy is a perfect square. It is a square term. It can be written as b plus 2 all squared. So now, the left hand side is a sum of squares, and the right hand side is 110 squared. So what do we do now? a squared is 10 squared minus b plus 2 squared. So it is 10 minus b minus 2, then times 10 plus b, then plus 2. By using the formula a squared minus b squared equals a plus b, then times a minus b. So this one is 8 minus b then times 12 plus b. Because a and b are positive, they're positive integers. So that means a squared is positive. Of course, 12 plus b is also positive. A positive number is equal to this guy times a positive number. So that means that this one, 8 minus b, should also be positive. It is positive as well. So 8 minus b is positive. That means b is smaller than 8. If b is less than 8, we only get 7 cases. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And you can see, in some cases, now, we have to verify these values. You can find out, only for b is equal to 4, a is 8. b is 6, a is 6. So that means, a b is 8, 4, or 6, 6. Did you get them? Did you get the trick? Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to me. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.